I went from making 3K a month to 20K a month using a tech skill that I learned in only 90 days. And there are some skills that you can learn even faster. In this video, we'll be going over the seven fastest tech skills to learn to make 10K a month. We'll start with the skill that has the lowest earning potential at first and will end with the highest. Although all of these skills could end up making you millions, the skill you pick can depend on your current situation and free time. If you're working a full-time job, some skills here could be a perfect side hustle. And if you have lots of free time, there are some options for you too. First up, UX and UI design. This skill is about making websites and apps easy to use and nice to look at. It's great for people who like design and want to make things better for users. You design how digital products look and work, make prototypes, talk to users, and keep improving based on what people say. It's a mix of being creative and solving problems Problems, which can be really fun. Let's talk money. New UX and UI designers can make around $50,000 a year. Don't worry, that's just the start. As you get better and build your portfolio, you can start making a six-figure salary. To get started in UX and UI design, you need to learn design tools like Sketch, Figma, or Adobe XD. You also need to know how to research what users want and make prototypes. The good news is it doesn't cost too much to start. You're looking at about $500 to $2,000 for software and online courses. The fastest way to make 10K a month with this skill is by helping small businesses with their designs. Many companies need help making their websites and apps better, and that's where you come in. You can just start by redesigning websites for local shops or creating app designs for new startups. And then to take things to the next level, you need to give yourself a bird's eye view over the business. Now, I want you to quickly do this exercise. Imagine you are a bird flying over the world and you have this great perspective of everything that's going on at the ground level. Now imagine your business that is making 10K a month and we're going to take you out of here and have the business operating while you are just like a bird and overseeing everything that's going on. And that in a nutshell is the agency model. Your business is UI and UX design, a service. You have the original clients that you work for and then they just pay you for projects that you complete. Now with the bird's eye view, you take yourself out of the daily work and you hire contractors and they will complete the projects for you. But the key is they are contractors. So they only get paid on a per project basis. So if there's no projects, they don't get paid. And that will save you in times where you don't have projects available. Because let's say we are in a recession and people don't want to spend any money. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Anyone can do this. And this agency model gives you leverage. And what do I mean by leverage? Well, now you've created something where it's not just you alone working five to six hours a day for $10,000 a month. You'll be paying three to four contractors up to three to 4,000 a month to complete the work. Suddenly you're netting $6,000 a month and it takes no actual work or your free time for you to generate that income. Instead, your focus becomes now to get more clients, more business that need your service. And when you get those, you just hire more contractors on a pay per project model. Boom, that's a million dollar business. I know so many designers doing this exact model. And if you need any more inspiration, let's look at Joe Gebbia, who helped start Airbnb. He uses UX design skills to change how people travel. Airbnb's easy to use website was a game changer, making it simple for anyone to list or book places to stay all over the world. Remember, it isn't just about making things look good. It's about making things easy and fun for people to use. If you like the idea of shaping how people use technology, then this could be perfect for you. Now, while making cool designs is important, the next step is turning those designs into real apps on phones. Mobile app development is all about making apps for iPhones and Android phones. If you ever thought that I wish there was an app for that, well, this might be for you. You'll be writing code for apps, designing how they look and making sure they work well on different phones. It's a mix of tech skills and creativity that can be really rewarding. And when it comes to money, new mobile app developers can make between $60,000 to $70,000 a year. But that's just the beginning. As you 
get better or make more successful apps, you can just earn more. Now to start, you'll need to learn programming languages for mobile phones. For iPhones, that is Swift or Objective-C. Android, it's Kotlin or Java. You also need to learn about the mobile SDKs, the software development kits, and how to design for phones. And it doesn't really cost too much to start. You're looking about $1,000 for a decent computer, software, and online courses. But here is a tip. Start with the free tutorials like YouTube and the official guides. That's how I started learning mobile app development. For ideas, you could make a game, a tool to help people be more productive, or an app that solves a specific problem. The great thing is that once your app is out there, it can just keep making you money forever. Let's look at Nick. He taught himself to code as a teenager and made an app called Summerly. At just 17 years old, he sold the app to Yahoo for $30 million. And that's just one of thousands of examples of how much potential there is in this field. And if you like the idea of millions of people using something that you created, mobile app development could be your path to success. But apps are just one part of the digital world. Now, throughout this video, every new skill is going to make you more money. So stay tuned. The next tech skill lets you build entire digital systems. Full stack development. This is about knowing how to work on all parts of a website or an app. It's great for people who like to see a project through from the start to finish. But what does a full stack developer do? You'll work on all layers of a web app. On the front end, you'll create what users see and interact with. On the back end, you'll build the application and database that makes everything work behind the scenes. It's like being the architect, builder, and interior designer of a digital house. Mid-level full stack developers can make between $70,000 to $120,000 a year. But don't let those numbers limit you. With experience and the right skills, many full stack developers earn well over $150,000. Now to become a full stack developer, you need to learn quite a few technologies. For front end, that's HTML or JavaScript, along with tools like React or Vue.js. For back end, you need to know languages like Python, plus understand databases and how to manage servers. It sounds like a lot, but remember, you don't have to learn it all at once. And it also doesn't cost you too much to start. Literally, you can get an online course on Udemy for $10 and get some development tools. You do need a PC. And that's what I did when I first started out. I started building websites for local businesses for free. It was a great way to learn and build a portfolio. Then I used the good reviews from those businesses to get paying clients. Many small businesses need custom websites, but they can't afford it, or they just don't need a full-time developer. That's where you can come in. You could start by building online stores or web tools for specific industries. Just look at Mark Zuckerberg. He built the first version of Facebook as a full stack developer. Now, I'm not saying that you'll create the next big social media site, but it shows you how powerful these skills can actually be. I remember working as a full stack developer myself. One project that stands out was an online store that I built for a local business. The challenge was making it easy to use while making sure the back end could handle lots of users and sales at the same time. It taught me how important it is to think about performance and growth from the start. Now, as you get better, you build more skills, more experience, and your projects will get bigger, more complex, and you'll make more money. But you'll start to see the need for better ways to develop and launch new products and services. Which brings us to tech skill number four, DevOps. This is all about making the process of developing and running software smoother. It's ideal for people who like to make things more efficient. As a DevOps engineer, you'll work on making the whole process of building, launching, and maintaining software better. This includes automating how code is tested and launched, managing cloud systems, and helping development and operation teams work better together. It's about making everything in software development more efficient. When it comes to money, mid-level DevOps engineers can make between $80,000 to $130,000 a year. But here is the exciting part. Experienced DevOps engineers, especially those who know a lot about cloud systems can easily earn over $200,000 a year. To get started in DevOps, you need to learn a variety of tools and technologies. This includes cloud platforms like AWS, infrastructure's code tools like Terraform, and container technologies like Docker. You also need to be good with scripting languages and understand CICD. Now, if that's your first time hearing those concepts, don't worry. That's part of your journey. You'll get more familiar with these as you start to dive in. Now, 
It can cost between $1,000 to $2,000 to get started with DevOps for certifications and online courses, but you don't just rely on courses. You wanna set up your own projects, try out different tools. And that's how I really got to understand DevOps practices. A great way to make money with DevOps skills is by helping startups and small tech companies. Many businesses are struggling with making their development processes better, more streamlined, and that's where you can help. You could help companies set up their entire CI CD pipelines, move them to the cloud, or help them start using containers. And don't forget my bird's eye view concept. It applies here too. And the agency model that can take you from 10K per month to literally millions per year. While DevOps makes development better, businesses often need help with their overall strategy, which takes us to our next skill, a general IT consultant. IT consulting, imagine it as looking at the bigger picture. It's perfect for people who understand a lot about technology and are great at explaining technical things in simple terms. As an IT consultant, you'll help businesses use technology to solve their problems. This could involve suggesting software solutions, designing IT systems, creating technology strategies, or even managing IT projects. It's about being the bridge between the business world and the tech world. IT consultants can make anywhere between $70,000 to $150,000 a year, depending on their experience, the industry, and the clients. But here is the exciting part. As you build your reputation and your client base, you could potentially earn way more, especially if you focus on a high demand area like cybersecurity or cloud engineering. Now, you will need a broad IT knowledge, good project management skills, and the ability to explain complex ideas simply. You should know about various software systems, understand IT infrastructure, and keep up with the latest tech trends like AI. People skills like communication, problem solving, and business understanding are just as important as the technical skills in this role. To start as an IT consultant, there's not really a course for it. You just need to put yourself out there, work with businesses, get a job in a consultancy. But what I learned is who you know is really important in consulting. Go to industry events, join professional groups, and never stop learning about new technologies. The way that you can make money fast is offering your services to businesses who need tech advice but can't afford a full-time IT department. That's where you come in. You could offer services like creating IT strategies, overseeing system setups, or checking how well a company's technology is actually working. Did you know that Satya Nadella actually started as an IT consultant before becoming Microsoft CEO. Now, I'm not saying that you'll become a Microsoft CEO, but you can clearly see the opportunities for growth in this field. Remember, being an IT consultant is more than just understanding technology. It's about understanding what businesses need and how technology can help them solve their problems. Our next skill is one that I know a lot about, cloud engineering. This involves designing, setting up, and managing cloud systems. It's perfect for people who like working with the latest technology and solving complex problems. A cloud engineer's role is to help businesses move their computer systems and information to the internet instead of keeping everything on local computers. They create the special internet spaces, often referred to as the cloud, where a company can store and use its data and programs. An important part of their role is keeping the company's information safe from hackers and accidents. They set up security measures to protect sensitive data and they create backup plans for emergencies. So if something goes wrong, the company doesn't lose important information. Another key responsibility is watching the budget. They make sure that the company isn't spending too much time on these internet services, which can get expensive if not managed properly. By using internet-based systems, cloud engineers can help companies work faster and grow more easily without needing to buy lots of new computers in physical storage called data centers. In essence, a cloud engineer uses the internet to help companies work better and smarter. They combine skills similar to those of a builder, a security guard, and a money manager, but apply them to computer systems and data stored on the internet. This work allows businesses to be more efficient and adaptable in today's fast-paced digital world. Experienced cloud engineers can make between $90,000 to $160,000 a year. But here is the exciting part. With the right skills, 
skills and experience, especially in areas like multi-cloud systems or cloud security, you can make way over $250,000 a year. To become a cloud engineer, you will need to master cloud platforms. I recommend AWS because they are just the industry leader. You also need to understand networking, security, virtualization, and tools like Terraform for setting up infrastructure. You will also need some knowledge of containerization. Again, this might sound a little bit difficult to you if you've never heard it before. But once you get stuck in, these concepts will make so much more sense to you. Now, to start as a cloud engineer, it costs around $1,000 to $2,000 to start with certifications and online courses. But here is a pro tip. Many cloud providers offer free tiers. Use these to start and build your knowledge. In fact, I'm currently giving away a free beginner's guide to cloud engineering. When you sign up for my newsletter, you can join over 5,000 cloud enthusiasts and the link is in my description. Now, a great business for cloud engineers, as I've mentioned, is helping companies who want to move to the cloud, but they don't have the expertise in-house. That's exactly what my company does. It's a cloud security consultancy. We help businesses design their cloud systems, move the applications or reduce their cloud spend. And if you're looking for a success story, well, let me paint you a picture. Imagine someone who barely passed their school exams, failed their first year of college, all while being told they never make something of themselves. Fast forward a decade and that same person now has an academy teaching over 200 students how to go from a beginner to job ready cloud engineer in just 12 weeks. A roadmap that he created from his own experiences. Now, if it wasn't already obvious. That person that I'm referring to is me. And hey, there are way more successful people than me. So don't get it twisted. I'm aware. I'm just trying to create my own path of success. The final tech skill that can make you 10K a month, and it's one that's been in the news recently for the wrong reasons, thanks to CrowdStrike, is cyber security. Cyber security is all about protecting systems, networks, and applications from digital attacks. It's ideal for people who like solving problems puzzles and staying one step ahead of the bad guys. Now your job could involve putting in place security measures, watching for threats, responding to incidents, checking for vulnerabilities and teaching employees about security best practices. It's about being the guardian of an organization's digital assets. Now experienced cybersecurity professionals can make between $90,000 to $180,000 a year. But here is where things get exciting. With the right skills and experience, especially in niche areas, like cloud security, or IoT security, you can easily earn over $200,000 a year. And there's a huge demand for cybersecurity experts, which drives up the salaries. Now to get into cybersecurity, you need to learn about networking security, ethical hacking techniques, and security frameworks. You should know how to use various security tools, understand common ways hackers try to get in, and keep up with the latest threats and defense strategies. You also need to know how to program and write scripts because that is really important. There is so many courses, but again, a similar startup cost of $1,000 to $2,000 with certifications and training programs. But don't just rely on certifications. You want to set up your own labs, practice ethical hacking, and take part of bug bounty programs. That's how you really learn cybersecurity. Now, once you've picked up your skills, you can improve them by offering consulting. Many businesses know they need better security, but just don't know where to start. And that's where you come in. You could offer services like security checks, testing for vulnerabilities, planning for security incidents, or training employees about security. And if you need some inspiration, let's look at Kevin Mitnick's story. He went from being a convicted criminal to a respected cybersecurity consultant and author. His story is actually quite interesting. So I recommend you look into it if you want to learn about someone who turned their life around and used their cybersecurity consulting firm as a vehicle for success. So there you have it, the seven fastest tech skills that can earn you $10,000 a month or more. None of them are easy because I never said these are the easiest tech skills to learn, but they are the fastest to learn. And sometimes the fastest route is actually the slowest route. But you want to focus on learning these skills right. And honestly, this tech world is completely untapped. A lot of people from the outside just think it's really difficult, but really it's not. I have friends making over seven figures a month through these business models. So there you have it. The seven fastest tech skills that can earn you $10,000 a month or more. Until next time, peace.